Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus here, doing another Marvel Legends review on Maggot from the Bone Breaker wave. Yeah, finally getting through this wave right over here. I will be heading out to Ohio. Hope to see you guys in Columbus for PowerCon this weekend, the 5th through the 7th. And this is a character that I'm happy to have in the collection, but at the same time, I don't know a whole ton about Maggot, but I'm happy to learn more. Uh, for instance, I just never thought there would be a mutant that had the ability to have its stomach crawl out of him and eat stuff and then charge him up yeah that's right he has these two slugs or maggots i guess uh eeny and meeny they eat stuff uh, they can even eat explosives and it powers him up uh, he has the ability to read spaces so he could tell what happened at a crime scene by visiting the place afterwards so very cool character anyway there's a read up over here on the back if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now there's the other figures from the wave and then you get a spot varnished x at the top and not much more at the bottom and if you're trying to pick up your marvel legends you can do so with big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> So here we have Maggot, Eeny, and Meeny all out of the packaging. And I gotta say, very interesting looking figure. I mean, we already talked about the character, but yeah, I, I like what I'm seeing over here. New character, a lot of new sculpted stuff that I'm happy about. Anyway, let's get a closer look at these accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Maggot. So here we have Eeny and Meeny, or Meeny and Eeny, I don't know, Eeny Meeny. But yeah, they both look really good. I like how they are sculpted differently from each other and you can see some nice texturing throughout on the back. Then you have all kinds of little detail right here sculpted on the inside. If they were able to put a bendy wire in here, that would have been pretty fun to have, but you know, eh, they're pliable enough where you could work with them. Red paint right there looks really solid. Same thing with the other one right over here. So I do like the details, especially on the back of these. That looks really, really nice. And again, eye paint looks solid. I wish he had interchangeable hands. Ah, that's one thing that does bum me out is that uh, these are supposed to power him up. So he's supposed to be able to punch and do stuff, right? I don't know. No interchangeable hands. A little frustrating or very frustrating anyway. <laughs> So nothing really too weird on the back of the head sculpt, a little bit of nickage from tilting the head up, but I gotta say the face itself looks really impressive. I love how those eyes came out, the teeth and the mouth and the wrinkles and everything on there looks really good. I like the little touch of hair that they put over there, very much it reminds me of Strong Guy. This new trench coat looks awesome. I love the texturing right over here, nice clean yellow paint apps on the back of the figure. I believe we have new arms right here that I haven't seen before. If it's from another figure, please remind me. I can't pinpoint exactly where I've seen this before but I don't think I have I like it. it looks really good and then they've taken some of the texturing from the trench coat and applied it to this shoulder piece right over here you could still see some of the white tank top underneath there but I think these pinless arms look great I love how the gloves came out wish we had interchangeable hands you can see how this is attached right over here at the top so when you rotate the arms this is going to be stationary unless you flip them up like that uh, but really nice texturing throughout on this trench coat I really like it a lot you have the belt right there nice yellow paint right there and then you know no wash or anything in the pants that would have been nice to see i do like the kneecaps right there or the knee pads anyway those look pretty good nice looking boots i like how they look and you get peg holes at the bottom of the feet and there's one more look at the trench coat really nice looking trench coat i like it so I really like the articulation on this figure. You can move Maggot's head all the way up and you can move it all the way down. You get side to side motion right here and a little bit of head pivoting. I didn't really comment on the expression on his face. I like it. Uh, I guess some people have complained about that, but I actually kind of like the facial expression. Anyway, you can move the arms outward just that much, inward that far and rotate forward and back. You get a bicep swivel. You get the pinless double jointed elbows. Then the wrist turns side to side and they hinge up and down. Good ab crunch forward right there with just the ab crunch and it moves back and you get a waist cut right here hips will move outward he can kick forward at 90 moves back just a bit upper thigh cut then you have the pinned double jointed knees that bend in uh, that far kind of tricky to show off get boot rotation ankles do move down they move all the way up which is great and they have beautiful ankle pivot 50 push-ups maggot I don't know, that's what I feel like everyone should talk to him. You know, just talk to him like a drill sergeant. But anyway, you can see that the figure is standing at about seven inches tall. Now, I don't have too many size comparisons for Maggot over here, but here he is next to Magneto, which I believe is the character who discovered Maggot. So there you go. I had to show these off side by side. And then I had to compare Maggot next to the Build-A-Figure Strong Guy because, hey, they, they have the same hairstyle. Also, I didn't mention earlier that they could have included the red goggles to come with Maggot over here. I wouldn't be surprised if Maggot purists out there would be upset that the figure doesn't have 
have that. Me personally, for selfish reasons, I'm happy that it doesn't have that. Just helps him make himself look a little bit more different from Strong Guy over here. Because come on, who else has this hairstyle besides these two? And then here's Maggot next to all the other figures from this wave. Aside from the build a figure, we have Heat Claws, Wolverine, G1, Sabretooth, Siren, G1, Havoc, Vulcan, and of course, Darwin. And then here's Maggot next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Whoa, wait, so in order to eat, those things gotta eat, and then you're not hungry anymore? But like, what if you need to fart? Like, do you fart out your butt, or do those things crawl in, and then you fart? Or do they fart on their own, and they crawl into your guts? Or do all three of you fart together? I need to know these things! What's going on? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And I want to give a big shout out to all the people that support this content via the membership and Patreon. That support is very much appreciated. I'm going to bring the scroll back. But in the meantime, we're just looking at some pictures of the figure of which I really like a lot. Again, I'm not bothered about not knowing much about maggot and getting a maggot figure as i've said many many times i'm happy to learn about new characters so the biggest issue i have is that i wish i knew more about the character and that's 100 percent on me so as a figure itself over here i gotta say i am very pleased i think it looks fantastic i like all the new added parts that they have over here i think the paint apps came out really good yeah i could use a wash like on any figure i prefer having that and we don't see that on this figure at all so it would have been nice to have a wash would have been nice to have interchangeable fisted hands too because he's supposed to get powered up and they had a way to kind of tuck the maggots uh inside his stomach that would have been pretty neat too but i did find a way to wrap him around his lower torso so hopefully that i don't know you'll see that in the photos if i'm not showing it off right now you'll see it at some point but anyway yeah i think that works out pretty well i like the size of the figure i like the head sculpt again my gripes are very minor and at the price point of around 26 bucks i'm gonna give this maggot figure a sun rating of it's not so bad and I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest in Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me over on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.